Hey, what's up everybody? What's good in the neighborhood? It's your boy Collector John, and today we're gonna be looking at some hot Goodwill pickups. I actually did find this huge stack of games at Goodwill over the last month or so. I typically go to Goodwill a couple times a week and uh, maybe half the time I find something and half the time I don't. But lately, I've just been finding a ton of stuff at Goodwill, um, especially cool video game stuff, which is dope because that's the thing that I like to collect. So yeah, I just wanted to go through and show you guys this big stack of games that I found at Goodwill. And then on top of these games, I found something that is probably uh, the coolest thing I've ever found at Goodwill. Just in terms of like the value of the item compared to what they were selling it for and how much I wanted the item. Uh, I, I think it might be the best thing I found at Goodwill. I don't know, it's a really, really cool uh, thing. And it is a video game related item, but it is not a video game. So if you can guess what it is in the comments, uh, you will win a, uh, a half empty bottle of Mountain Dew Baja Blast. And after I show you guys these sick Goodwill pickups, uh, we're gonna go through and look at some other recent pickups from my local video game stores. It's been a while since I've done a collection update video, so I think it's time we do a collection update. And then we're gonna go hit up a Goodwill and see if we can find anything at Goodwill, because this is kind of a Goodwill-themed video. So it's just a smorgasbord of fun stuff today. It should be a pretty fun video. Uh, probably gonna be a long one, but that's okay, because you guys seem to like these long videos. Uh, but yeah, I think that about does it for the intro. Let's get into it, baby. All right, we're gonna start off with this stack of Wii games. Uh, we're gonna kind of start from like least valuable to most valuable a little bit for each of these different uh, console stacks that I have here. Um, so we'll start with the less valuable Wii games, we'll go up to the more valuable ones. Starting off with Excite Truck, which I've never heard of before, and this is definitely not a valuable game by any stretch. Uh, but I thought it looked cool. I like, uh, you know, I think racing games on the Wii are fun when you're like steering with the Wiimote. I think that's always kind of a good time. And uh, I like games where you're, you're driving a big truck I just like driving trucks, you know? So yeah, that's Excite Truck. Uh, once we go through all these Goodwill pickups, I will put a, uh, I'll put what I paid for everything versus a price charting comparison up on the screen. Uh, I know price charting is stupid, but I just think it's fun to like tally up everything on price charting and see the big number. So we're gonna do that too, just for fun. Next up, we have Dance Dance Revolution Hottest Party 3. I do have two DDR mats for the, uh, the Wii that I have yet to use. Um, but I do have kind of a, a good space for them in my office here. So I think I might actually set those up later. And I have uh, DDR Hottest Party 1 or 2. So I thought it'd be fun to just get another one of these. And it looks like it has music by uh, the Black Eyed Peas. Let's Get It Started by Black Eyed Peas is on here. So that's cool. Uh, uh, so What by Pink. Plus many more. So this looks like a good DDR game. Uh, I would be happy to check this out. All right, these next couple here, I'm just gonna put them all together. Um, so we got four Just Dance games on the Wii. But yeah, these Just Dance games, they actually like have pretty decent value. Like I think some of them are like almost hitting the $15 mark. And these I think would just be fun to play with my friends. Like we do play stuff on the Wii occasionally. We play a lot of uh, Beatles rock band on the Wii. Um, so yeah, I just figured why not just get them for $3 each, you know? And last but not least, this is a really good one. Uh, pretty good Wii game. We got Mario Kart Wii, which I don't have for some reason. I'm not sure why, because I know I had it at some point. I must have sold it on eBay or something at one point, because I didn't really play it that much. Um, but seeing it at Goodwill for three bucks, it was like, yeah, kind of a no-brainer, because I know this game pushes like $30, maybe a little more now. It doesn't have the manual or anything, but that's fine. I think the, uh, the disc is looking totally good. It's like not very scratched at all. There's like some minor scuffing on it. Um, but it's a pretty nice copy of Mario Kart Wii and uh, yeah, it was three bucks. So nothing to complain about at all. I think this is a really good addition to the collection for three bucks. Next up, we got some PlayStation stuff. We have PS1, 2, and 3 and one PSP thing as well. So let's start with this PSP thing because I'm calling it a thing because it's not a game. It's Crouching Tiger, <laughs> Hidden Dragon, UMD movie for the PlayStation Portable. I really like this movie. I don't have a lot of UMD movies, but I figured it was just kind of a fun pickup. And uh, actually it was a fan of the channel who came up to me when I was in Goodwill and they were like, here, I think you might like this. And they gave it to me. Uh, so I was like, well, obviously I have to take it if a fan of the channel gave it to me. Um, so yeah, this is really cool. I think UMD movies are fun and funny and Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon is awesome. So yeah, fun thing to have in the collection. And we have one PS2 game. I just found this one a few days ago. We got Destroy All Humans 2. I have Destroy All Humans 1 on the original Xbox, um, but I don't have 2 on either console. So I figured, uh, you know, if I don't have it, even though I'd probably rather have the Xbox version, I might as well pick this up for three bucks. Um, and this is a really nice, complete copy. Uh, it does have a little bit of sticker residue on the case here, but that's okay. And uh, I think the disc itself is looking really nice as well. Pretty stoked on Destroy All Humans 2. I've never played this one. I've only ever played the first one. So uh, this should be fun to mess with on the PlayStation 2 as well. And then we got a couple PlayStation 3 games here. We got Ninja Gaiden Sigma, 
uh, which is awesome. I think this is just a remake of the Ninja Gaiden that came out on the original Xbox for the most part. It might have some like additional content added to it. Um, this copy doesn't have the manual. I'm not sure if it originally came with one and it's greatest hits, but that's that's fine. That doesn't really bother me. Um, and the disc is looking really nice as well. So uh, yeah, not a bad pickup for $3. Another cool one to have in the collection. Then also on the PS3, we got this copy of Dead Space, which I, I don't need this at all. I already have uh, two copies of this on the Xbox 360, um, but I figured, well, I really like this game. Uh, I've been kind of enjoying my PlayStation 3 lately, like more than I have for the last year or so. So I figured, ah, might as well just get a PS3 copy because uh, Dead Space is awesome and I like the PS3. And uh, it's another complete copy, um, another really good looking disc. It does have this, uh, someone ordered it online from GameStop, I'm guessing, because they usually put the discs in these little sleeves here. Um, but yeah, it has the manual as well in there. Um, yeah, so another great pickup for $3. I think this thing pushes like 20 now. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. And then we got two PS1 games. Uh, one of these is okay, and the other one is freaking awesome. So we'll show you the okay one first, uh, and that's NHL Blades of Steel 2000. And you know, it's not like I'm going out of my way to buy sports games for the PlayStation 1, but uh, I don't know, I think hockey games are kind of cool. And this actually does have like decent value. I think it's like in the 15 to $20 range. Um, and this was priced as a CD, it was in the CD pile. So it would have been two bucks instead of $3. So like, yeah, for $2, might as well get this like, 15 to 20 dollar sports game for the ps1 and then lastly for the playstation one this is one that i actually found a couple months ago um, but i haven't talked about it in any of my other videos and i figured if we're doing a goodwill video i might as well mention this game because this is a really good find uh, but we got medieval black label copy for the playstation one at goodwill i made a post about this on my community tab a while ago so you may have seen that post um, but yeah this is freaking awesome this is a really cool game i think it's worth upwards of 50 dollars now um, so yeah paying two dollars for it at a goodwill is freaking sweet and I know people are gonna be asking me, hey, Collector John, where is this Goodwill that you're going to to find all these games? And uh, you know what? It's a secret. Actually, if you watch some of my earlier videos, uh, I do go to this Goodwill and I think I talk about where it is. So if you go back and watch those videos, you can probably find it and figure out where this Goodwill is that I found all this cool stuff. All right, and then we got some Xbox stuff. Uh, the Xbox 360 is one of my favorite consoles. Um, and again, you can find like Xbox 360 games all day, every day at Goodwill. Uh, maybe not all day, every day, but a lot of time you'll have like Xbox 360 and Wii games uh, popping out the shelves at your local Goodwill. So here's a couple that I found. Uh, we got this Fallout 3 um, game add-on pack, which features the Pit and Operation Anchorage expansions. Uh, I don't like Operation Anchorage at all. I think it's pretty mid, but the Pit is awesome. That's like a really, really good Fallout expansion. And I don't have these on the 360. I don't have the, like they probably put out a game of the year edition of Fallout 3 at some point that had all of these on it. Um, but I don't have that. I just have the regular edition of Fallout 3. And I think having more stuff that says Fallout 3 on it on my shelf is cool because I love Fallout 3. And then also being able to play the Pit expansion on my Xbox 360 would be really fun. I know they put out another one of these that had Point Lookout and um, I can't remember the name of the other uh, Fallout 3 expansion, but there is another disc expansion set like this. So I'm gonna be on the lookout for that one too. I don't think this is worth that much. I think it's like maybe seven or eight bucks, but again, it was $3, so why not? Next up, we got Guitar Hero 2. Played a ton of this back in the day in my friend's basement. And uh, yeah, this Guitar Hero 2 is a freaking classic. I also have Guitar Hero 3 on the 360, and this is a really nice complete copy. Um, disc was looking good, uh, nothing wrong with this copy at all. So for three bucks, I think this is like a 10 or $15 game now. Um, you know, hard to pass on this because Guitar Hero is freaking awesome. Then we got Battleship. I have no idea what this is. Looking at the box, it seems to be some sort of first person shooter that also features naval combat. So that sounds weird. And I think this is another like 10 to $15 game. So for three bucks, I was like, yeah, sure, why not? When I find like cheap games like this that I don't have, it's kind of just a no brainer for me. Like I might as well pick it up just cause I love the Xbox 360. And yeah, nice complete copy. Disc is looking really good in there. So yeah, another sick $3 find from Goodwill. And then we have Call of Duty World at War, which is one of the Call of Duties that I don't have on the Xbox 360. And uh, ooh, this has a GameStop receipt in it. Okay, let's take a look at this. Somebody bought this game for $13 back in 2013, um, which is pretty awesome. And yeah, another nice complete copy, another good looking disc. Um, I, I love Call of Duty World at War. I played this campaign back when it came out. I think I just rented the game. I don't think I bought it. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. This is like a really nice copy of World at War. I think it's another maybe $10 to $15 game. So yeah, pretty stoked to add this one to the collection as well. And then we have another Xbox thing here, and this one's kind of weird. I'm still not sure if I should have bought it or not. And that's Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale series for the Xbox One. Um, this is the first Xbox One game that I've ever bought. I'm just gonna be honest. <laughs> I, 
I don't collect for the Xbox One, and I don't even have an Xbox One or a Series X right now. However, I do plan to buy a Series X very soon, mostly for its backwards compatible capabilities with the 360 and the original Xbox. And then at that point, I'm probably gonna start collecting Xbox One games. I'm gonna be the only person in the world who is like actively collecting for the Xbox One. And you know, I figured seeing this at Goodwill for $3, I think it's another like maybe $10 game. And I like Guardians of the Galaxy, so I figured, yeah, why not? I'll just, I'll just pick it up ahead of time before I even start collecting for the system. I might as well just have it if it's cheap. So yeah, that's why I grabbed this one. Another thing that I find at Goodwill uh, pretty frequently are strategy guides. The past couple months, I found like a Grand Theft Auto 4 strategy guide. I found a Dark Souls 2 collector's edition strategy guide that was really cool. And then a couple weeks ago, I found this Bioshock Infinite hardcover strategy guide, which is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, I like the Bioshock series a lot. Bioshock Infinite isn't my favorite Bioshock game, but I probably will replay it again at some point. And uh, you don't need a strategy guide to get through that game, but I just think strategy guides are cool, especially when they're like hardcover, like limited edition strategy guides like this. Um, so yeah, this is kind of a no-brainer pickup for, yeah, I think it was three bucks. Okay, and I'm gonna show you guys the really, really cool thing that I found at Goodwill. This item I found at the Goodwill in the Bayview neighborhood here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, that's not a Goodwill that I go to that often. I go like maybe once or twice a month. All right, here it is, folks. It is a Xbox 360 uh, Red Octane Explorer controller. As far as Xbox 360 peripherals go, this thing is like probably at the very top of the list. I've really, really been wanting one of these. I think the Explorer design is so sick. And yeah, we talked about Guitar Hero 2 on the Xbox 360 earlier. Uh, my friend had this exact guitar. He had two of them. We play a bunch of Guitar Hero 2 in his basement when we were in high school. Um, and this thing like commands a decent price now. Like I think it's probably, you're probably gonna be spending over $100 for a good used example that's not covered with like the stickers and stuff. It's really hard to find these without the stickers. And this one was just so clean and it was $5, uh, which was freaking awesome. I was so, so happy to find this a goodwill um, it does have like a little scuff right here um, but other than that it's like honestly in extremely good condition so again this might be my favorite thing that i've ever found a goodwill at least in the last year or two um, i'm like so stoked about this it didn't have the usb adapter on the end but i already have one of those with my um my fight stick back there this fight stick right here already has one of those on it um, so i can just use it with that and that totally works so yeah i would say between this controller uh, this cool strategy guide, and this huge stack of games. I've been doing pretty well at Goodwill lately. Um, I think we're gonna throw up the price information now. So here's what I paid, and here is the price charting value. Uh, I don't know, I have no idea what that price charting value is gonna be. I'm guessing it's probably gonna be over $200 if I put the controller in there, maybe over $100 if it's just the games. But yeah, Goodwill has been really good to me lately. I've been finding a lot of cool stuff there. I hope you guys enjoyed looking through these pickups with me. Whoopsie daisies. All right, so let's look at some game store pickups. I don't have a ton of stuff here and it's mostly PS4 games. I also have this package that I haven't opened yet that we're gonna unbox from Mercari. I also have a couple really cool uh, like peripherals that I picked up that I wanna show you guys. One of them especially is really awesome and I'm pretty stoked to uh, show you guys what it is. Uh, but yeah, let's get into these PS4 games. So most of these are from Mega Media Exchange, which uh, if you've watched my videos before, you know that that's a store that I uh, frequently go to. They've also been doing a 25% off sale on their games for a long time. I think they actually just stopped doing this. Um, but this snack here, these are all 25% off so whatever you see on the price tag it is 75% uh, of what's on the tag so pretty good prices on all these but let's take a look starting off with Borderlands game of the year edition which I would have paid uh, it was $10 so I would have paid $7.50 after the discount and uh, this is just a good thing to have I really like the original Borderlands and you know I have a copy on the 360 already but I figured you know might as well get this PS4 version because it's pretty pretty good price and I like this game so much that uh, I could see myself playing this version of it um, so yeah, we got Borderlands Game of the Year Edition, which is pretty awesome. Next up, we got Killzone Shadowfall. Uh, nothing too exciting about this. It's just a PS4 exclusive that I don't have. Um, doesn't have a manual in here or anything. I don't think it originally came with one. I have never played this, and I've been wanting to uh, check it out at some point. I, it looks like a cool first-person shooter, and I like cool first-person shooters. So yeah, we grabbed Killzone Shadowfall. It would have been like maybe five bucks after the discount, so not bad at all. This next one's really cool, and I also kind of regret it. I don't know, you guys can tell me if you think this was a good purchase or not, um, but I grabbed the Dishonored and Prey uh, Arcane collection. And mostly, I just think this is really cool because I love Arcane, like just as a studio, they're one of my favorite studios. And I already have Prey physically, but I don't have Dishonored or Dishonored 2, um, and I just thought this is like kind of a cool collection um, that does go for like a decent amount of money. Like I think it might go for closer to $20 on eBay. And this copy would have been like 10 after the discount, so I just felt like it was a good price. 
However, I did not read the fine print when I was buying it, and I didn't realize that the Dishonored was actually a download code, so it does not come with an actual disc for Dishonored 1, and the download code that came with it did not work. So <laughs> I paid for Dishonored 2 and Prey and this cool box, which is fine. I don't know, like it would have been awesome if the download code for Dishonored worked, but I, I just, I'm not sure if it was worth it, but maybe you guys can let me know what you think. Uh, but again, as a fan of Arcane, I, I just think this is really cool. So to me, it probably was still worth it, I think. Next up, we got Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, I played Dragon Age Origins a couple times, and I've never played this one for some reason. And I figured now's the time to buy it because it's going to be like four or five bucks after that discount. And uh, yeah, just like a pretty average looking copy. It's got some stickers and stuff on it, but you know, with the price, there's really nothing to complain about. And I don't know when I'm going to get to this because I know this is like a really long game, but I feel like this is something I probably will check out someday um, just because I like Origins so much. So yeah, this is a cool one to add to the collection for sure, especially for how cheap it was. Then we got Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning. Uh, this is just cool. I think it like goes for more like 10 or 15 bucks on eBay. I played a little bit of this on the 360 and I thought it seemed pretty cool. I think this like PS4 version of it is cool. I like having remastered seventh gen games on the PS4 for some reason. I don't know, that just like really appeals to me to have these like older games remastered on the PS4. And yeah, this game is just cool. Like the, the lead designer for Oblivion worked on it. Uh, Ten McFarlane who created Spawn. Uh, he also like did some of the like writing and stuff for this game, I think. Um, so it's just kind of a cool game, I don't know, and I like having it on the PS4, so uh, not a bad price at all. Probably would have been like five or six bucks after the discount, so yeah. And these next couple here are from Half Price Books. Uh, I don't do a ton of hunting for games at Half Price Books because their prices kind of suck usually. Uh, but I found a couple things when I was there one time that I thought were cool, so I grabbed them. Uh, we got Wolfenstein The New Order. Uh, it was $10, which uh, not the greatest price. I think it goes for a little, like maybe $1 or $2 less than that usually. And I got it because the other game stores that I usually go to, I just never see it there. And I don't know why, because it's supposedly a very common game, but I just hadn't been seeing it for a while and I really wanted to grab a copy. And then of course, after I bought this $10 copy, I started seeing it everywhere for like $8. So I guess that's just what happens. Uh, but that's okay, because I've already played through this since I bought it and I freaking love this game. Like I've played it before, but I wanted to replay it. And Wolfenstein The New Order freaking rules. Uh, I'm excited to play the second one again as well. I really love uh, Wolfenstein, The New Order, and The New Colossus. I think those are like pretty amazing first person shooters. So yeah, happy to have this one again, for sure. And then I also got Rise of the Tomb Raider, uh, 20 year celebration edition for $15. I think $15 is actually like somewhat decent for this game. Uh, it comes with this cool like kind of book style case, which is pretty awesome. And I'm not sure if there's anything different on the disc as far as like what's included on the disc for this version of the game. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments. But it does have this cool like artwork book uh, built into the case, which is kind of neat. Um, I don't know, just kind of a cool thing, you know? And I, I like this game a lot. I played it back when it came out and I've been wanting to replay it because I don't have a physical copy of it currently. So yeah, I think replaying this on the PS4 is gonna be a really good time because this is just like, uh, honestly, this might be my favorite Tomb Raider game. Like, I'm just gonna say it. This game is freaking awesome. All right, we have one more thing here. I picked this up from uh, The Turning Page, which is a kind of a comic book store, but they also sell video game stuff. Uh, and I grabbed this game, Front Mission Evolved. Uh, it just looks like a cool mech game and it was eight bucks. So I, I don't even know if that's a good price or not, but $8 for a cool mech game on the 360 just seemed like a fun time to me. So grab Front Mission Evolved. Uh, I'm pretty excited to check this one out. If you've played it, let me know. All right, so those are the game store pickups. I also have this package from Mercari that I'm gonna open really quick. So let's unbox this live and see what we got. Looks like this is packed pretty well. Got a couple uh, couple PS4 games in here. Let's see what we got. I spent $10 on these two games uh, plus $5 shipping. So it was $15 for both of these, I think. Uh, which I think it's like a decent price for these two games. But uh, yeah, we got Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. I think these uh, earlier Uncharted games are pretty fun, especially two, I like three a lot as well. Um, I still haven't played the first one for some reason, but I thought this is just a good thing to have, like a cool physical version of these three games that I really like. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna play two and three again. I'll probably play one at some point, maybe just to see what it's all about. But yeah, for how cheap this was, I just felt like, yeah, that's a good thing to have in the collection, you know, cause I definitely will play it at some point. And this other one's really cool. The seller had it listed for $4 um, and that is Mud Runner a spin tires game. Uh, if you've never played Mudrunner, it kind of rules. I've played this on the PC a bunch and it's basically just like an off-roading simulator type of game. Like you're trying to uh, get logs from one place to another. So you're hauling logs, uh, you're, pulling, you're pulling Jeeps out of the mud with a winch and uh, it fr it's freaking awesome. It has the coolest mud physics I've ever seen in a game. And uh, it's just a really cool thing. I don't know, it has like Soviet Russia vibes also. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, Mud Runner freaking rules. I'm excited to play this on the PS4 on my big TV and see how that looks. Cause uh, 
It's a beautiful game. Beautiful mud in Mud Runner, for sure. Oh, I almost forgot these strategy guides. I got these two strategy guides from Half Price Books as well. Um, so we got a strategy guide here for Evergrace, which they had for $7.50. Um, I really like collecting strategy guides and Evergrace is just like an extremely sick PS2 launch title that From Software made. I don't think a lot of people know about this game, but it is a really, really cool action RPG with one of my favorite video game soundtracks of all time. The soundtrack to this game, there's like literally nothing else that sounds like it. It is just absolutely insane. <laughs> So if you like From Software, if you like JRPGs, if you like just weird uh, early PS2 games with crazy music, um, this is definitely something to check out. Uh, I, I have I have a copy back in my collection somewhere, um, but this is actually a really good price for the strategy guide too. I think this is like a twenty dollar guide. Um, so yeah, I couldn't really pass on it for seven fifty. And here's another one that I couldn't pass on: uh, Metal Gear Solid Three Snake Eater. I think this is the only Metal Gear Solid strategy guide that I don't have, except uh, I don't have MGS One. Other than that, I had all of them except for this one, and they were selling it for eight fifty. Um, and I almost ordered one of these off eBay for like over $20 a couple weeks ago and I decided not to and then I found it for way cheaper at Half Price Books so that was awesome. Sometimes Half Price Books comes through for me, especially when it comes to strategy guides. For video games it kind of sucks, but for strategy guides uh, sometimes it can be awesome. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited to add both of these to my strategy guide collection for like less than $20. These are both really good ones to have. All right, I have two more things to show you here. They are uh, more peripheral things and not video games, but okay, this is this is awesome. I was really excited to show you guys this one. So I found this 20th anniversary uh, Xbox series controller at uh, Mega Media Exchange. They had it for $60. And $60 seems like kind of a lot for an Xbox controller, but I think it does actually command uh, a lot more than that online now. And it's just a really cool controller. So it has kind of a transparent look to it. Let me pull it out here and show you guys. Yeah, so it has this transparent shell where you can kind of see the internals. And I'm just a huge sucker for transparent technology. Like I have a lot of cool, uh, like transparent stuff in my collection already. Um, and I also love Xbox stuff. So it was really, really hard to pass on this. And uh, for now I'm just using it on the PC because like I said, I don't have an Xbox uh, Series X or Xbox One at the moment. But when I do get one, I will definitely be using this controller all the time. It is a really, really cool controller. It also has these kind of lime green uh, grips on the back here that feel really good. And this was a used controller, but as you can see, it's in really good shape. There's pretty much like no cosmetic defects with it at all. And uh, $60 is just a really good price. I don't think I'll ever see it for that cheap anywhere ever again. Um, and this is something that might like appreciate in value a little bit as well. I usually don't care about that much about that kind of thing, but um, you know, it, it was something that I did consider when I bought it. So uh, yeah, this is a pretty sick controller to have in the collection for sure. Okay, and I have one more like kind of peripheral controller thing that I just really quickly wanted to talk about. Um, yeah, so I recently grabbed this uh, CRKD Nitro deck for the Nintendo Switch. It is a cradle style controller for the Nintendo Switch. So it has this like whole assembly that the Switch comes in and out of. And I really, really like it. It has these extremely nice uh, Hall Effect joysticks. They're, they feel really nice. All the buttons and everything feel great. And I also love this transparent orange finish, which again, you know, I'm a sucker for transparent tech. I just can't get enough of it. And yeah, I've been using my Switch way more since I bought this thing. Um, a lot of people don't like the placement of the right thumbstick, but I think it's been totally fine. It hasn't been like too low for me or anything. And I was just getting so sick of Joy-Cons. You know, I, I freaking hate Joy-Cons. I don't want to deal with them ever again. The joysticks suck. Uh, they look stupid. Uh, and this thing looks really cool and the joysticks and buttons are amazing. So I think I paid $80 for it, which seems like kind of a lot, but for me, it's been totally worth it. It also came with this really nice carrying case. Um, so yeah, th this was worth it to me. It's It's been allowing me to use my Switch a lot more because I kind of fell off the Switch for a while. Um, but now that I have this thing, I feel like I actually enjoy playing my Switch handheld again. Um, it's just really comfortable. It's really nice. It looks awesome. Uh, so yeah, if you're in the market for some new Switch hardware, I know we're like really late in the Switch life cycle now, but this thing has been really, really awesome to use. I, I like it a lot. Whew. Okay, so that's all the recent pickups. And uh, I think with that, it's time to go out and do some hunting. Uh, like I said, we're going to hit up a Goodwill. Should be a pretty good time. If you're enjoying the video so far, please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, let's make our way over to Goodwill. <laughs> Welcome to my Goodwill. Uh, this is my main Goodwill. I hit this one up a few times per week, and uh, yeah, let's see what we can find in here today. I immediately spotted this copy of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I don't have this one yet, but I'm not feeling super passionate about it. And also the disc is looking uh, real grimy, so I think that's gonna be a pass from me today on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I also spotted The Walking Dead Survival Instinct, which I already have. I think I actually found this one for like a dollar at a game store, so definite pass from me. Uh, and then I saw they had this weird looking copy of Quake 4 in like an old generic game stop case or something. 
Uh, I do want this game. I don't have it, but I think we're going to pass uh, just because I would like the actual case and not this generic one. All right, what else we got here? We're kind of finding a lot of stuff today, which is cool. I saw they had uh, this Sega GT 2002 uh, Jet Set Radio Future Double Pack, which is pretty awesome. I already have it, though. Don't need it, so I passed. And then I saw Battlefield 2 Modern Combat for the original Xbox, which is pretty sweet. I don't have this one. Uh, and it's a nice, clean, complete copy, so I think we might actually pick this one up today. It's uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool find. Speaking of pretty cool finds, they had Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 for the Xbox 360 here. I don't really care about Harry Potter games that much, but I'm more interested in the 7th Gen ones than the 6th Gen ones, and this one was nice and complete, and I think it goes for like close to $20, so I think we're actually going to grab this one. Also had a really uh, clean disc with it too. So uh, yeah, this is not a bad pickup at all. I think we're definitely going to be taking this one home with us today. Saw a Call of Duty game that I already have, saw some sports games that I'm pretty sure I donated. Uh, and then I saw they had a copy of Skyrim Legendary Edition for the Xbox 360. I do have Skyrim on the Xbox 360, but I don't have this cool Legendary Edition, so I think we might actually grab this one. Didn't have a manual with it, not sure if it originally came with one, but for $3, I think this is a pretty solid pickup as well, and the uh, both the discs are looking pretty good too. So yeah, another solid pickup from Goodwill today. Duck Dynasty. Here's a blast from the past for you. Uh, I don't really need this. I, I do think it's kind of funny. Like, it would be funny to have this in the collection, but I don't know if I even want to pay $3 for this. I feel like if I just had, like, a huge cheap lot of Xbox 360 games, I would maybe keep it, but I don't really want to pay 3 bucks for it. And I kind of feel the same way about Cabela's African Adventures. Maybe I'm wrong, but like neither of these games really interest me that much to pay $3 on them. So you can uh, you can let me know how you feel about it in the comments if you would have bought these or not. But for me, I'm going to leave these behind today. Uh, but still, still cool to see video games at Goodwill, no matter what they are, you know? And I had to check out the electronics section where I spotted this pretty sick looking Magnavox boombox with a tape player. Uh, this is something I definitely would have picked up. I like collecting cool tape players and boom boxes like this. Unfortunately, this one was not working. Uh, the record button was stuck, and it just didn't seem to be functioning properly at all. Uh, so yeah, if you're going to buy electronics from Goodwill, make sure you test them, because they were charging $13 for this, and it did not work at all. So yeah, that's your PSA for today. Here's something that was working, though. This pretty cool-looking Toshiba clock radio. I really like the design of it. I like the buttons, and I like that it's brown, and I like this clock radio font on it. Uh, it's a little grimy, but I think we could clean this up. So uh, I think we actually are going to pick this thing up. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, I like the way that the, the time change works. Like, it goes really fast, which is cool. I, I feel like most clock radios don't have that, like, fast clock change feature. Yeah, I think this thing is pretty awesome. I'm going to clean it up and put it on my desk when I get home. And, uh, yeah, I like uh, cool-looking electronics like this. This thing is pretty sweet, for sure. Yeah, so here's the entire Goodwill haul for today. We got three video games and a clock for $14, so not bad at all. I actually ended up going back to the same Goodwill the next day and check it out. More video games! They had some cool original Xbox stuff here, a few things that I don't have. Some really nice, clean, complete copies. I got Project Gotham Racing 2, which is pretty sweet. I grabbed Flat Out, which is awesome. I, I already have this, but this is a much better copy. Full Spectrum Warrior, this is one that I had back in the day, and I've yet to add it to my current collection of original Xbox games, so that's really cool. And then also True Crime Streets of LA. So all of these were really clean and complete, and uh, yeah, you can still find video games at Goodwill, apparently. All right, well, that was a pretty solid Goodwill stop, but you know what? I'm feeling like we need to hit up a second Goodwill. And uh, stick around, because this next Goodwill that we go to, they have a ton of video games there, and I find a ton of good stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's see what they got at Goodwill number two. And here we are. And as you can see, there are a lot of video games at this Goodwill. Uh, and it's not just all drunk either. There's actually some pretty cool stuff in here, some stuff that I don't have. Like way on the end here, they had some cool PS4 games, including a copy of The Witcher 3, uh, which is one that I've been looking for. I've been wanting to pick up a copy of The Witcher 3 on PS4. It has a free PS5 upgrade, and uh, I've just been wanting a physical copy of it. So that's pretty sweet for three bucks. They also had a bunch of PS3 games here, including these Ratchet and Clank games that I don't have. So they had Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction, they had Ratchet and Clank Future A Crack in Time, which is another one that I don't have. And then they also had Ratchet and Clank All for One. So I don't have any of these Ratchet and Clank games on the PS3, and it's really cool to see them at this Goodwill for $3 a piece. Uh, not a common sight. There are seriously a ton of games here, so if it seems like I'm skipping over some of them, you can probably just assume that I already have a copy of it. Uh, like this copy of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, I already have that game. It's amazing, but I already have it, so I'll leave it for someone else. And at this point, it must have been obvious that I was having fun finding all these games because one of the employees came up to talk to me. Are you finding any good ones? Oh yeah, totally. I'm gonna put all of them out today. Did you just stock this? So, 
we had like a huge donation of 360 and Wii games come in. Uh huh. And sometimes I'll just hang on to so I have enough to put out right. a bunch. Yeah. Uh, and so all of a sudden I just pulled them on. Like, Sweet. Put them all out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's some really good stuff in here. Yeah, so. Yeah. Glad you <laughs> Oh man, I just love it when Goodwill employees are cool. That was a good wholesome moment. Anyway, here's a copy of Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. I'm definitely picking this up. Uh, I would love to have Minecraft on the Xbox 360. Along with this Men in Black game, MIB Alien Crisis. I've never heard of this, but it looks cool and weird. Uh, it's complete, so I think we're going to pick it up. Most of these games are complete and in really good shape, by the way, so that's awesome. Here's a copy of NBA Street Home Court. I wasn't sure about this game, but apparently this is like a $20 game, so I think we're going to grab it just because I'll probably never see it for $3 ever again, so might as well pick it up. FIFA Street 3 is worth uh, nothing, but whatever. I like these street-branded sports games. I think they're fun. They had this Naruto game. I don't own a single Naruto game, so I might as well get this one if it's $3 on the Xbox 360. That seems like a good time. A couple more Xbox 360 games down here. They had a copy of Far Cry 3. This is one that I don't have yet. Uh, I have this on PC, but I think owning an Xbox 360 copy would be fun, so we're going to grab that one too. Max Payne 3, another one that I've been looking for. Uh, Dragon Age Origins Awakening, the expansion to Dragon Age. I think we're going to grab this because I don't have it. And last but not least, here's the Wii section. There's pretty much nothing interesting here on the Wii, but they did have a copy of Just Dance 3, which you saw earlier. I grabbed some Just Dance games already, and I didn't have this one, so might as well pick it up. If it's another $3 game, sure, why not? So here's our entire haul from this Goodwill. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good if I do say so myself. And I think now it's time to head back to the Collector John studio. I want to run some more price charting numbers and see how much all this stuff is worth. So let's take it back to the studio. And haircut jump scare. Uh, yep, I got a haircut. I look a lot different. Uh, and the continuity is ruined. This video is ruined. Please uh, dislike and unsubscribe. So yeah, we're gonna run some numbers again. I'm gonna take all those other games that I just found at Goodwill. We're gonna tally that up into price charting as well. And then we're gonna do a grand total of uh, every game that I found at Goodwill in this video. We're gonna throw that all into price charting. We're gonna compare that to what I spent at Goodwill on all of them, and we're gonna see how we end up doing. Uh, but also, uh, before I finish editing this video, I found a few more games at Goodwill. <laughs> so we're gonna throw these into the mix too. Um, I found Minecraft Xbox One Edition, which this is another version of Minecraft that I was interested in owning. Again, I don't have an Xbox One yet, but I'm planning to get one really soon, and I just thought having a physical copy of Minecraft for the Xbox One would be cool. That's probably a version that I would actually play also. And this one doesn't have an actual original case with it, but it does have the original artwork. And uh, no manual either, but that's not a big deal. I don't need a manual for Minecraft. So yeah, another pretty good pickup for three bucks. Uh, we got a copy of Fallout 4 for the Xbox One. I think they're working on putting out a next-gen update for this game, so that'll be really cool when that comes out. We got Injustice 2, not a series that I know much about, but uh, I think they seem like pretty cool games. I know a lot of people like them, and I thought uh, it'd be cool to have a physical copy of that as well. So yeah. And last but not least, we grabbed Star Wars Force Unleashed 2. It's just another Xbox 360 game that I don't have, and for three dollars, I thought, you know, why not? That's kind of the theme of the video. For three dollars, uh, sure, why not? Let's do it. Okay, so here's everything that I found at Goodwill in just the second half of this video. And uh, I put it all into price charting, and we are looking at a grand total of $221.23. And for this stack here, I spent $69. So not bad, not bad at all. I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say we did pretty good on this one, for sure. So if you take all the Goodwill pickups that I showed you in the first half of the video, and you throw them on top of the stuff that I found in the second half of the video, we're looking at a price charting grant. I can't even lift this up. This is too big. I'm like trying to, oh my God, this is a terrible idea. This is a real bad idea. We're looking at a grand total price charting value of $534. And my total spent was $126. So uh, yeah, not bad. I'm feeling pretty good about that for sure. That's including the guitar. The guitar is back there too. That's, that's with the guitar in there as well. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. I'm sick of editing this thing. I keep finding more stuff at Goodwill and then I feel like I have to put it in the video. At some point you just need to cut it off. I probably should have done that, but uh, I just wanted to put as much stuff in this video as possible. So that's what I did. But yeah, I hope you guys like it. Uh, be sure to check out your local Goodwills once in a while because you never know what you're going to find and it's always a good time to find stuff at Goodwill. Even if it's a game that's not worth that much or not that good, it's still fun to find an interesting game at Goodwill once in a while. I always have a good time hitting up my Goodwills. So forgot to put Destroy All Humans 2 in the stack. So we're going to... Uh, this. Uh, Ill-advised, bad idea. Okay, we're, we're okay. I'm so afraid of this stack falling over. Uh, that's, that'd be bad. Yeah, please like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, I'm Collector John. We'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> worth it. That was worth it for sure. Oh my God.